All right, so we're taking a look at this unit activity, trigonometric functions. Um, it's done almost perfectly, um, but let's just take a little look. So um, we're making a trig function to um, talk about the low and high tides. So the lowest low tide was measured on July 11th at negative 1.4 feet. The highest low tide was measured on July 4th at 1.8 feet. So we're going to be starting with the July 4th one. Um, that's going to be the highest one. We're going to swoop down to the lowest one and then it's going to be going back and up. So it's going to be going up and down like that. Um, a lot of these questions are correct. Let's just take a look at a couple. Um, this is all perfect. Um, here on July 4th, it was 1.8, and then here on July 11th, it was negative 1.4, so that middle line is 0.2, which you are right. All right, now um, here, we're actually going to change from cosine to sine, because sine normally starts at 1 right here, and so, um, as opposed to 0 for the cosine, so if we start at 1, it's actually going to be less of a shift to go this way, as opposed to starting here and going up, so we're going to change this to cosine. Um, now, let's look here, you are right, the amplitude is 1.6. Very good. Okay, now finding the period of the function. So, and explain what it means in the context. And so we saw that um, here, the period is where we go from one low tide of the lowest to the other lowest low tide. So if we look back here, um, it was saying that um, we started with the high one on July 4th and then the lowest one on July 11th. So between there is seven days, right? So from the high one to the low one is seven days. And so if it's following a pattern, to go back to the high one again would be another seven days. And so our period is going from one high to the other high, which is now going to be 14 days. And so that will be your um, period of this function here. So um, that's going to be 14 you're perfectly right here about the vertical shift being 0.2. Very good. Okay, now the phase shift here. Um, the phase shift, what we're talking about, is um, how many days it takes to go one full phase. And that's, remember, from high to high. And so we always take 2 pi and divide it by the period. So in this case, it will be 2 pi over what you just found for the period, which is 14. Sorry about that, I just got ahead of myself. Um, for the phase shift here, let's go ahead and use that. Okay, so let me show you what this is going to look like. So we have our graph here. So here's July 4th, here's July 11th. We know um, that this is going to be seven days in between here, right? Okay, so um, if we were to do our phase shift, right, because we're not starting right here like we normally would for sine. It's going to start, it's going to be at that point somewhere else. And so it's a seven-day um, period. And so if we go backwards seven days, now we're over here. Let's just pretend we have this part of the graph. We're over here at negative three on the x, right? So, um from this point to this point here uh, is seven days, and so this would be negative three on the x. And so we needed to now divide that in half to see where we're actually starting at on our graph here. And so if we're in the middle of negative three and four, if we find the middle of that, negative three plus four divided by two, that's how we find the middle, we get one over two, which is gonna be 0.5, and that right there is our phase shift. So that means at 0.5, that's where our graph is really shifting over from 0 to 0.5. So then all that will need to be changed here is instead of cosine, oops, let's bring this up. So instead of cosine here, we'll be doing sine. And this number will change, and that number will change, but these are all the same. So that'll change, and these will change based on the problems that I just uh, showed you about. So hopefully that makes a little more sense. Now for this one, remember we're going to be starting at day 0.5. That's what we talked about a minute ago with the phase shift. So we're starting at 0.5, and then our period is 7. And so if we keep adding 7, that will be 
um, are low tide, so add another 7, and so on and so forth. 